Bolero from fucking Oshawa area, man. Uh, and before that, we heard some Unborn Dead. Both those bands you guys are going to be playing with on uh, J- July 22nd yeah. uh, down at the Atria uh, with uh, two additional bands as well uh, that I don't have, so we can't play them. But uh, uh, see, talking about uh, talking about Bolero, there. Uh, they're going to be. They're working on their new album right now. Uh, but I understand. I was talking to uh, to Morgan on, on Tuesday and to you about this tonight. Uh, Morgan used to play with the uh, Necromatory, right? Uh, did he not uh, do some vocals for you or something like that? Or well, he did bass for us. Then uh, me and him actually came up with the name Necromatory. Wrote the we, first couple of tunes. Yeah, we wrote the first couple of tunes. Uh, we were high down in my basement and. Just put two words together, came up with the uh, term necromatory, and yeah, uh, we played we played with Morgan. I think one show, two, one or two, yeah, yeah, one or two shows. We had Will too. Yeah, we had some guy named Will too, and uh, <laughs> yeah. Back when you played, you just played bass, and Will did vocal for us. Uh, what's he doing now? Nothing. I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> in the ditch. <laughs> <laughs> Inside, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. In the ditch. Some meth head fucking in the ass. <laughs> um, so uh, another thing that we were talking about too, though, is the fact that uh, the very first album that you guys, uh, well, the first thing that you guys ever laid down, uh, which you said was something like an eight, eight track, yeah. uh, was laid down by Ubo. By uh, Erich from Lapidate. The drummer from Lapidate, and uh, he came over to my my house, and uh, or actually Zach's house, yes. recorded in this laundry room. It's like a four-track tape recorder. Yeah, like four-track tape recorder, and <laughs> yeah, we old school. We got the pops and hisses in there. Yeah, and uh, we basically did it for a bowl of weed. <laughs> yeah, he got he was too high to drive home. Yeah, he was too <laughs> high, and uh, yeah, it was awesome. It was good. How long ago was that? Probably like seven years ago. Yeah, like seven years ago. We lost all those tapes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. I'd like to get my fucking yeah. hands on one of those I tapes. Want to hear you want? Yeah, yeah, no doubt, Ed, but you miss them. Uh, you guys don't even have a copy yourselves? No, oh, man. Oh, we have one copy, I think. Uh, that's brutal. So, uh, you guys feel like listening a little bit of Yeah, Sure. Yeah, no, then maybe we'll uh, do up another cuff tune. Uh, sure. Which cuff tune are we going to do next? You want to do uh, one of the. Do an old one. One of the old ones, uh, which would be uh, exploring. Extra you want to do exploring extra, extra, extra terrestrial <laughs> anatomy. Yeah. Uh, it rolls right off the tongue. Yeah, rolls right off the tongue. Some eh? universal punishment. Like a anatomy. fucking stank ass <laughs> pussy that rolls right off the <laughs> fucking tongue. Um, so that's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna hear some lapidate. We're gonna hear uh, disgorged abortion, and uh, we're gonna go and do uh, two cuff tunes in a row. Fuck it, man. Let's do it up. This is lapidate on nuclear holocaust. Keep it fucking locked. What a marvelous, wonderful, attentive audience you are. And uh, may I add, a brave one too. Now those of you who are weak-willed or cowards would have fled by now or, or regurgitated. <laughs> now the other one is the exception of uh, Earthly Brutality. That's an older team too, right? Yeah, the same album. This is just the actual presentation. presentation. A show which offers no reality, not a fraction of reality and just allows us, you and me, to delve into our gross fantasies far beyond erotica. I am Sadhu, master of the theater of the macabre. Tonight, we begin with talk. The tiny ass little jam room in the basement. <laughs> that must be Christian. Uh, that's a fun chair, but it is, yeah. Yeah. This is Death Valley, big seeds of where. Uh, Best to the best. <laughs> What's all the brutal heads are in here, anyway? Oh, we're Christmas. Instead, he's trying to get home and he has to be.
I'm not used to trying to do this quick, I need to spend like a couple hours there. Yeah. 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
of uh, Earthly Brutality, and we also heard Exploring extra Extraterrestrial Anatomy. Uh, we started things off with uh, Lapidate with Disgorged Abortion, uh, which we just had discussed. Uh, the drummer from Lapidate actually laid down uh, a, a four-track recording in a laundry room. Uh, <laughs> the first Necromatory album ever, or uh, no, it was it Necromatory? Yeah, it was Necromatory yeah, yeah, yeah. that he laid down. Demo. First demo, yeah. Uh, so one of the questions these guys in the chat room want to know right off the bat uh, is 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 there going to be any new necromatory material? Let's 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 go to Zach about that one. Sure. We've been kind of talking about it. We got a couple of new songs that we've been working on. Uh, one or two in the mix right now that we're just kind of messing around with. Are you going to be playing those live? Yeah, we will be for sure on uh, at the reunion show, July twenty second. And uh, yeah, we're thinking about doing some recording. Because we never we did one album and it never got released, so we're just looking to do something proper and get get something out there, you know. Yeah, yeah that's about it. Right on. Okay, well that's that's one question that was asked. Uh, I believe it was Rob that wanted to know that uh, from the chat room. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to fucking look through here. Oh, was it Chronic? Yeah. Okay. And uh, what was the other fucking question? We got so much chat going on over here. Uh, oh, Bob. Uh, yeah, well, I mean, Bob. You recently uh, you you quit smoking uh, the the fine sweet herbs lately. Yeah. Uh, a few months after back. Like ten uh, years. After like ten years of being a fucking chronic. <laughs> um, so Rob wants to know, man, are you gonna take up uh, hitting the bong again, or what's going on with that? <laughs> uh, maybe if I get the chance to smoke Chris Barnes at Summer Slaughter tour. Some purple Kush. Yeah, some purple Kush. <laughs> <laughs> I get to see six feet under and stuff, dying fetus. <laughs> it's kind of funny we're talking about the fact that you just quit, and uh, I was just talking to uh, to drummer of Archfire here on, on Facebook, uh, and he was mentioning the fact that, that uh, you guys, uh, along with me, you sound a little bit fried. Oh, I'm um, fried, for sure. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't quit smoking. Oh, okay, Zach didn't quit smoking. So wait, okay, so there's a reason behind that. <laughs> yeah. Bob's just perma-fried. There you yeah. go. Yeah, Bob's just fried his brain from the last 10 years. <laughs> so, uh, but we're having a good time over here, man. And uh, I believe there's another question here. It's, like I say, it's just so fucking hard to get through these. Uh, musical uh, influences. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to talk about musical influences, man. Uh, let's get into that right now. We'll, we'll first, uh, we'll talk to uh, to Zach about his influences, and uh, and then we'll talk to Bob, man. So, so Zach, I mean, uh, where's the way for you? What started it off? Uh, there's no, I don't really have any direct influences for this cover kind of stuff or necromatory drumming or whatever. It's just, I listen to a lot of like 70s prog rock, like stoner rock like that. Just like maybe some crazy acid jazz, like just some weird shit. So then when it comes to writing heavy stuff, I just have all these like, it's like a mix of pot, all these weird ideas. I don't have any like, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to make it sound like uh, suffocation, like, well, let's go for this. I'll just like play whatever the fuck I feel like playing, you know? Yeah, yeah. If it happens to come across as being heavy or brutal, then so be it, you know? Whatever. So it's just basically whatever, whatever you're feeling. Yeah, it's just the music. Or what? It's heavy, like, like no matter what. So yeah. it's just heavy music. And it's just what you like. I mean, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, is, is, there, is there any bands, though, that's just, you know, that were like legends to you when you were younger, maybe uh, that, that that helped get you. Oh, they got Slayer, yeah. Slayer growing up for sure. Slayer, Cannibal Corpse, Suffocation, Death, just Dying Fetus, all the like 
all the legends. Yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. 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 Of okay. course. Then how about you, Bob? I mean, uh, you're fucking super ultra gutturals there. Uh, there's got to be some influences there. And you don't do like a dry lung guttural. You do like a gurgly slam guttural, right? Like, and the breeze and the breeze. Where does <laughs> yeah. that come from, buddy? Uh, basically, my influences are like dying fetus and uh, cryptopsy. The Chromatory actually got a chance to play with cryptopsy. And Levity. And Levity. But the last cryptopsy show was with Lord Worm. That was their last show with Lord Worm. Yeah, that was their last show with Lord Worm. And we played that. Was that the one here in Oshawa, the dungeon, or was that the one Cathedral. You know, going to Toronto? Yeah. The we played with uh, Three Mile Scream, too. They had their uh, Cryptopsy's current singer now was in that band. We yeah. With them that night. I think they like, talked to him that night and got him. Yeah, and uh, about my gurgles and stuff, I uh, listened to a lot of Cemetery Rapist. And, uh, we, uh, we, I think we did it first. Yeah. Yeah. I had the gurgles first. Yeah. I was born with the gurgles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he figured out he could do it after uh, taco night. Yeah, we had taco night and uh, I just started going. It's a some acid splash back. Taco. <laughs> <laughs> the pink taco. Very <laughs> uh, right up, man. And uh, so yeah, of course, dying fetus. I mean, I, any anybody that. You know, has gotten into the to the brutal side of death metal. I think that they been, have been heavy. It's the same as Campbell Corpse, sure, yeah. right? I mean, I think that them, them guys. Yeah, if, you know, if you missed out on that, you don't even know what fucking death metal is. To tell you yeah. the truth, you know, I mean, that's the problem with these fucking kids. They like, all these hardcore bands and yeah. stuff. They don't know who those guys are. So Thank they have you. No, nothing to base it off. Yeah, yeah, they, they just they're mixing the screamo with fucking. Yeah. Break, a death break down after break down after yeah. break down. Auto tune. Fucking auto tune. <laughs> drop and change fucking drum tactics. <laughs> fucking bullshit, man. Over and over, right? I know I'm not a fan of the core either, mm -hmm. guys. Uh, the, the kind of core I like is, is good grind core. Um, you know, maybe uh, some, some board grind. Um, but for the most part, I, I like the brutal and the technical side of death metal. Yeah. And the old school side, too. I mean, you know, I, sure. guys like Chuck and shit. I mean, let's, let's face it. Um, old obituary. Old obituary, yeah, I mean, <laughs> all that shit, right? It's all got its place. So, uh, uh, let's see here. Zach's got another band on the go as well that we haven't talked about yet. It's a band called Virulent Gestation, and it's actually a uh, it's actually a one-man project. And he's recorded a full-length album yeah. just recently, and uh, it's been shipped around the world. People are, are actually enjoying it, yeah, man. Yeah. And uh, it's brutal. Surprising. So, and of course, it's got a drum machine. And Zach does the guitar on it and the vocals as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hear a tune of, uh, of virulent gestation. We'll listen to uh, gorging on digestive fluids. And uh, you guys want to do a brand new cuff tune soon? Yeah. Sure. Okay. And uh, okay. Well, here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do virulent gestation, which is Zach's band. Then we're gonna do uh, my fellow uh, uh, metal brother out here in in Israel, uh, DJ here on Nuclear Holocaust Radio. It does a show called uh, Rotting Ways, which is DJ Rot. And uh, he's got a band called Screw Rock, and it's straight fucking brutal. Kind of like awesome. you're gonna like it, man. It's really good shit. I heard uh, shit. He's awesome. He's, he's got. Uh, they just got signed uh, to uh, Severed Records. Good fucking deal. And uh, so let's do that up. So this is virulent gestation, gorging on digestive fluids on nuclear holocaust. Keep your lock. Three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> 